Hello everybody, this is Anne Marie from Annie Stampin' Corner and I wanted to stop by and show you um, an altered canvas that I did for some friends. This is what I came up with and what I did first was I um, painted the um, canvas with some gesso and after I painted the canvas with some gesso I um, their shirts that they were wearing were um, a turquoise and then turquoise, white, yellow, and a green. S and there's three. Um, it's two girls and a boy. And they all had cowboy boots on. And I really liked the way that came out. Even the infant had the cowboy boots on. So I really thought it was really cute. And um, I wanted to pull the colors in from the picture. So what I did first was... Um, I used some white gesso, then I took some blues, and it was turquoise blue, some of the, the um, lime green, and some white, and a little bit of the yellow, and I just painted the canvas up in different areas, and um, wanted it to have a whole bunch of color to go with that. So that's what I did with that. After I did that, I took some of the um, molding paste um, and I put some of some flowers here with um, a stencil and then on here I used um, the doily stencil and you can see this one better because of it being yellow and white. The other one is kind of dark. This canvas has a lot of texture on there. Um, I really like the way it came out. Um, the mixed media, I really love just getting my hands dirty and playing. I feel like I'm back in school and it's just, just a lot of fun. So that's what I did with that and I took a bunch of the um, Tim Holtz um, stamps, background stamps, and I did chicken wire and checkers, checkers board and the grid and um, some of the um, bubble wrap and stuff like that and some diamonds, just a bunch of texture going on on this canvas. I um, then took <clears throat> some bubble wrap and I used some white paint and I dabbed it on here in spots and it's just I don't know if you can really see but it's just got a lot of there's the bubble wrap um, it has a lot of texture um, between the um, molding paste and and everything going on around round on there put some script stamp on there um, the one thing about this canvas is nothing on here was um, purchased already made and put on the canvas. Everything was made from the um, flower spray to the letters up here to the banner. Everything I put together myself 100%. Um, I didn't want to use anything already made. I wanted to make the canvas um, all the way through. So this is actually probably the first piece I've ever made that I haven't used something that was store-bought and um, just placed it on here. So let's get, um, let me tell you a little bit more about the canvas. The letters up here that I put on here, they're from uh, Martha Stewart, uh, her mold. I made them out of clay, then I baked them and um, painted them white. Um, I did add a little bit of brown. Um, the name of it was cocoa bean copper sprayed on here to tone the actual canvas down because it was really bright and I wanted to tone it down some and give it more of a grungy look because the picture that they're taking in um, like I said the colors are the teal white green and yellow but the background that they're in is a piece it, it's an old piece of wood and it just it just really looks grungy with them sitting in it with their cowboy boots and um, that's why I wanted it to tone it down just a little bit to, to pull in that wood look. Um, the canvas I made out of the pennant dies from the Spellbinders. I first cut out the scalloped one and then I cut out the straight edged one and then I put them together and I put them in turquoise and yellow and then I put the letters on top. I added some chain to link it together with some eyelets in between to dress it up a little bit more.
and then I attached it in the corners with um, some brads to make it look like there were nails that were holding it. I also um, took the picture and pulled the picture up. I um, put it, if you can see, um, there's a big gap here. I wanted it um, for it to pop up a lot. So I took some cards, not cardstock, but some chipboard and I um, made a little box with it. And then I attached it at the top and in the middle. And I attached it to the bottom, back, back of the, to the front of the canvas with, but I'd also attached it to a piece of um, white. Well, it was chipboard, but the chipboard was um, a box. I cut it and then I painted it white. Um, and then I attached the picture to it and attached the picture to the canvas. Then I took um, some 25 gauge wire and I made a spray. And after I made the spray, I laid the spray down on here. And this was with the help of Tanya um, Gibbs. Uh, she helped me with the spray. I'd never made one. So this was my actual first one, and she helped me out with that. And thank you so much, Tanya, for, for your help with this canvas. Um, but I did the spray, and I laid it on here. And then I attached the flowers here. And what I did was I used canvas for the flowers. Um, the canvas, it was used, I used canvas for the um, banner also. Everything was done with the um, canvas. And I attached, <coughs> I made the flowers first out of the 3D um, Sussex dye. And then I rolled them up and I colored them with the Tim Holtz. Everything was colored with the Tim Holtz um, Distress Inks. Um, I can't remember each one, but um, this one was just white. I didn't do anything with it. I think this was the peeled paint. Scattered. I'm not sure which these two were. I think this one was the um, broken china, and I'm not sure what the yellow was. I can't remember. I think this one was one of his newer um, colors that I used. And I cut out the tattered uh, flower, and then I cut them in points to make these leaves that are on the vine. Um, I pinched them together at the end and added a little bit of glue to make them pop like that. And then I added those. So I added all of the leaves and then I added the flowers on there. And then that's the way the canvas came out. And I'm really, really pleased with the way it came out and I can't wait to give it to them. And the reason why the picture's covered up is because they didn't have their permission to show their faces and I didn't want to do that without asking. Um, so, <clears throat> but this is the canvas I, that I came out with, and um, it was a lot of fun. And thank you for uh, stopping by and having a look, and everybody have a great day. Thank you. Bye-bye.